Let's talk now about what it is to ask Christ. I want you to turn to Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. While you're turning there, when we are going to ask Christ something, is, are there some things that are just too trivial, too unimportant, that he doesn't want to hear from us? No. no. In Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Verse 6 is the request. Verse 7 is the qualifier. Verse 6, he says, but in everything make your request known to God. There is nothing that Christ doesn't want to hear from us. He wants us to ask him everything. Verse 7 is when we turn things over to his will, that's when we have the peace that surpasses all understanding. That's when our hearts and minds are guarded in Christ Jesus. Now, how often does Christ want to hear our prayers? All the time. First Thessalonians 5.17, we are to pray continually. He wants us asking Him questions all the time. We're told in Colossians 4 by Paul that we are to devote ourselves to prayer. What that means is that the questions that we ask should be a priority. In James chapter 4, it says, you do not have because you do not ask God. God wants us to come to him and ask him. In John 14, Jesus said, I will not leave you as orphans, but you will be sent a counselor. Who is the counselor? The Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Holy Spirit. <laughs> Whose counsel is the Holy Spirit going to bring to us? Christ. The Holy Spirit doesn't speak on his own. The Holy Spirit is going to bring us the counsel of Christ. How would you rate the advice of Jesus Christ compared to any other advice you can receive? Perfect. 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 Yeah. And it's available to us just for the asking. All we have to do is ask for it. It's the best advice in the universe. It's available all the time. All we have to do is ask for it. But you know, sometimes we have problems asking for directions. I know this doesn't apply to any of the men in this room. <laughs> but there are some men before GPS who, no matter how lost they were, they would refuse to ask for directions. I remember as a boy traveling with my parents. My father was driving. We were in a city where we had never been, and we were lost. And my mother kept saying, when are we going to stop and ask for directions? There goes a gas station. We missed it. There's another one up here. Can we pull in here? The gas stations kept coming by. Here's my father. <laughs> he was not going to stop and ask for directions. She finally said, where are you going? He said, I'm following my nose. I'm following my nose. Are we to follow our noses? No. no. We're to follow Christ. We are sheep. He is the shepherd. Sheep need direction. We need direction. It's available to us just for the asking. 